Also new tonight at 11, controversy pouring in over a potential brewery along the West Haven shoreline. Tonight, the city council voted to move forward the brewery's plan to move in, but another popular business also threw its hat in the ring. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Hector Molina is joining us live right now. He was at the meeting in West Haven and has more tonight. Hector. Well, New England Brewing Company has been in no negotiations for years to come here to Savin Rock, but Shellen Bones in New in New Haven has also been interested in coming here to this space. But at tonight's meeting, the West Haven Council made it clear who they're committed to. These pictures show what could be the future home of New England Brewing Company along the West Haven shoreline. The brewery would include a tap room, small kitchen, and event space at the current site of the Savin Rock Conference Center, a proposal that received overwhelming support at tonight's public hearing. My husband, Gary, and I are very much in favor of NEBCO renovating and moving into the current conference center property. New England Brewing Company will bring in jobs, will bring in tax money, will help bring the community closer. Those with concerns say the brewery isn't paying their fair share. $6,000 a month for three acres hardly seems like a fair deal for the city. Tonight's meeting also had another player in the game. The attorney for Shell and Bone says the popular New Haven restaurant had sights on also heading west along the shoreline as they thought the brewery plans were starting to stall. Our offer is superior. More money for a longer period. But according to the council, the offer never had much of a chance. The council spokesman says Shell and Bones never submitted a request for proposals as the council instead voted unanimously to accept NEBCO's lease agreement and show their commitment in moving a step further with the brewery. One step on a long road. So it was nice to see the passion and support behind it um, from people we don't know um, directly and that felt good. Now, the brewery still needs approval from planning and zoning, but if fall goes well, they plan to open here in the summer of 2024. In West Haven tonight, Hector Molina, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.